Aloha, Hi Vibe Tribe, it is Pink Bella. Welcome back to my channel, and I will be sharing this out on all my other platforms. I hope everybody is well. I'm sending you all so much love and aloha. Um, on this Monday, we are in October. Welcome to October. And thank you for all my new subscribers as well. And thank everybody for liking, subscribing, sharing this out if this resonates with you. But not only that, thank you for just being here and being part of the High Vibe Tribe. So I wanted to record a couple of videos in and around some of the things that I'm bringing forward right now. And one of them today is what is grid work? What exactly is grid work? We, I've been talking about this for a long time. So have others. Some of you are new to this term. Others are um, maybe you've studied and done grid work with other people. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what grid work is. And then I'm going to share from my perspective how my um, group, Crystal Grid Work, that we're going to be doing together, how that differs um, what it's all about. Okay. So I created, um, and who am I? I'm Pink Bella <laughs> Aloha Therapy. My name is Pink Bella, also known as Tracy, and I'm a 12 to 20 second quantum dimensional Kashik reader, healer. Quantum healing is multi dimensional healing, and I work with various copies of the Akashic Records on behalf of Prime Source Creator, of Divine Mother Goddess, all that is. I'm here on mission. I've known I've been a starseed and that I've been here on mission since the 90s. So check out all my playlists as well because there's lots of information in there about Twin Flames and Divine Unions, about when I realized I was a starseed, about all the downloads, all the teams that I've been working with. I personally have been consciously doing grid work here where I am in the Pacific Northwest in um, Canada on the West Coast, consciously since 2017 having no idea that multiple other star seeds were out there doing the same thing. And we're all being guided to do something a bit different. And that's because we're all a piece of the puzzle, right? So this will be in the October update as well. We're going through a massive choosing sovereignty and freedom of what information resonates with us all. And how about this? This is a mind blower. How about every little piece of information resonates with each of us as a soul on a different level. So all parts of it are equally valuable. So all teachers are sharing different aspects. All astrology that's different is sharing different aspects to help our soul remember. This is all about remembering who we are and why we came. So part of what I'll be offering the divine goddess grid work activations is quite unique. And it just was downloaded to me a couple of weeks ago. And the fact that I'm able to um, assist of many of you as like, this is a piece of your soul mission moving forward. It just warms my heart. This work is for those of us that have clear intentions, clear heart, clear soul guide us direction, and that we're connected not only to our higher self and our teams, not only to the galactics, not only to um, prime source, but this aspect of prime source that's called the divine goddess, the divine mother which is the divine frequency of feminine intuition, love, support that this planet has not experienced for thousands of years. It is now finally safe for us to anchor in this light consciously. Okay, so that's what's so super, super exciting. So I'm just going to, I created just a few slides. So let me just add the slideshow. Okay. So welcome everybody to one of Pink Bella's slideshows. If you haven't been part of any slideshows before, go back to last year. There's, um, I started doing some slideshows around removal of seals and implants, um, J seals, Merkaba healing, all sorts of things. Um, because this is what I used to do. I, my previous role to being a way show and ascension guide, I was in corporate. I was a project manager for a long, long time. So welcome to pink bella love therapy um a slideshow so this is about pink this is about not me this is just on my slideshow but this is about new earth grids and the grid work that we're all doing and why we're doing it and specifically i'm going to be talking a little bit about lemuria because that's the first piece that um i've offered if any of you would like to work with me be part of this grid work assignment uh, check the description box below, email me. It's at the top of my website. Okay. And there's also, I'll talk about this at the end again. There's also a new empowerment bundle for with divine goddess code sessions and this grid work as well. So the first grid work assignment will be once a month, uh, 
it will be this October, but it's going to be in between the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse. So it'll be in kind of the third week of October. We'll be doing an assignment together in November, one in December. There's still some availability and I've, it's at the top of my website and I will update it and just email me if you're concerned. But this is amazing, amazing work. So this image was brought to me years ago. So I started to realize that I was part of this global team, like consciously knew that I was part of this global team, the 11 gateway in 2011. It started to get louder and louder. There were some other way showers that were already out there doing their work. YouTube was just starting to pick up speed. Um, I deeply interconnected with a couple of them and it helped me remember more. And one of them actually shared this image, I think 2014, 15, and right away, I was like, oh, my gosh. So I always remember flying on airplanes and opening up the maps and seeing this, right? Seeing th this, this is what I call grid points. So this is, you know, from my perspective, this is two things. This is a visual of our light grid that we're creating, the new earth light grid. But it's also a visual of where we all are, where these little pillars, not little, but where these pinpoints and pillars of light so this is why sometimes we will need light shields because the other teams are still here interfering with our process. Okay. So anyway, this is what we're working on. We're working on specifically what I'll be facilitating is a group of us to cohesively work together to anchor in the new earth grids, the fifth dimensional new earth grids and higher. And we'll also be anchoring in the divine goddess feminine light the divine feminine Christed light. So that's the difference. That's the shift. And that's just been, like I said, uh, in the previous video, the 99 portal this September that we've got the green light from the divine goddess mother. And it's like many souls have been doing goddess work on this planet for years. And I honor you. And, and there is enough for all of us to share because a lot of us are uh, working on one piece and, all of those pieces make up the entire puzzle, okay? So what I'm offering will be something completely different. And there are multiple people offering uh, specific types of grid work around the planet. And everything will resonate with your soul with what you're supposed to do, okay? So we're going to be working on healing the old Lemurian grids. And I've been working on this personally myself. This is why I'm allowed to um, offer this right now. And then we're going to be creating the new Lemuria grids. We're going to be anchoring in the new grids. We do not physically have to be at these locations. We'll be doing it together. Okay. So let's go to the next slide. Okay. So this is what I consider would be the matrix grid. I don't know who, who created this, but I found this and I thought, yeah, this is, looks like an old dark spider cobweb that might, we might find somewhere in the house that we want to clean up. So it's time for us to clean house, okay? And some cells out there are working on re repair work, repairing the old grids and are cleaning out the old grids. And that will continue. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. Um, but this is, we're specifically going to be uh, cleaning. The, oh, let me go back. Specifically, we're not going to be cleaning this up, although there may be some cleanup when we're anchoring, anchoring in the new light. But that's something that... <laughs> The slideshow has a mind of its own. That's something that exists right now. That's the old matrix. Okay. So what the work that we're going to be doing together is very, very powerful. And I love this image of the pink grid, the divine rose, uh, rose red grid. Okay. So we're, what we're going to be doing is so powerful and it's, uh, it's part of my mission to facilitate this. And then I was guided that there's a group of us. It's part of your mission too. And the beautiful thing about this is, okay, I had some questions come to me. Am I ready for this? The sessions are going to include quantum clearing and healing for all of us as individuals and as a group with, with chakra alignment, et cetera. So that will help prepare you. You don't have to have previous grid experience to join this assignment, but you want to be pure of heart. You want to be able to feel like, I know I'm part of the divine goddess. I know I'm here to help facilitate that. So our heart being pure, our soul, knowing that this is part of our work on um, that we're being called to do this and that we are in honor and in integrity for ourselves and all the other divine goddesses as well. So that's just part of it. Okay. So what are the divine goddess codes? We're literally anchoring in new divine feminine goddess, goddess codes. And I will be facilitating as part of the quantum healing, a divine activation by the goddesses that come in for that work, that specific work. 
and then we will be able to anchor them in together. I mean, you have that as a gift within you. You have that within you to start when you're guided. You'll clearly hear more of your higher self to help you um, anchor this in to your location. Of course, you're going to want to pick locations where um, you might be guided to do it remotely. You might be guided to do it from home, depending on where you are. Okay. What is the new, so this will be the new, we're literally being given the green light to anchor in the new earth crystalline grid, which will be the fifth dimension or higher. This is preparing a foundation for all of us. It's preparing a foundation for more light to come on the planet, for more healing, for more awakening for the collective. It's also preparing a foundation for the cities of light. Okay. Um, we also, what is the new Lemuria? We'll talk about this a little bit too. So the new Lemuria is going to be preparing for that new version of that light city to be available to be set up whenever it's time. So what's interesting is from our perspective, we're down here doing this and maybe some souls have the maps within them to start building certain things in certain locations. And then in, in new earth and this other timeline, reality and dimension, they're already, they already exist as well. So it's super exciting. So we're doing this for both timelines okay to have the timeline merge excuse me timeline merge and um and allow this new beginning so it's super super exciting and whenever you watch this i'm recording this in october 2023 okay so let me go to the next slide and there's new lemuria so for me part of my journey has been remembering so I remembered many, many pieces along this journey. And all of us kind of come in and we start remembering different pieces. Some of us remember being a star seed first or a light worker or the 144,000, a blue ray star seed. Some of us remember being a healer and empath and intuitive. Some of us like resonate with the goddess energy. Some of us like, oh, remember, oh, I was part of Atlantis. I was part of Lemuria. So Atlantis was a big part of my initial piece. And I wrapped that up really in 2018, but I still receive pieces of it as well. And then Lemuria, um, I also was part of, and it was just a different energy, different frequency. So for me, I've been remembering about Lemuria since I was a child, since I first went to the Hawaiian Islands. I've also been to many parts of the Pacific, up and down the West Coast of North America. Um, I've been on some of the other islands um, heading towards Australia. I lived in Australia for a year. So all sort of the, the what they call the Ring of Fire and the Pacific Rim would have been uh, the old Lemuria. And there's specific stargates that we're all, all working on to upgrade. Some, some souls out there are repairing some of the stargates. And some of us are now bringing in the new light to activate the new stargates. Okay, so the new Lemuria will be set laying the foundation for um, for all of this to unfold, which is so amazing. Okay, and we'll be bringing in the divine goddess code. So Lemuria was very different from Atlantis. Atlantis was more more technology. Lemuria was crystalline healing pyramids, working with the dolphins and the whales and the crystals and the frequencies and the islands and the ocean. And that's what I'll be bringing into the sessions as well. Okay. Um, I want to just, I wanted to just read my notes. Yeah. I want to just read my notes, make sure that I covered everything. So yes, the new sessions, we'll be working with these frequencies. We'll be working with different crystal frequencies, color rays, the dolphins and the whales, the goddesses, divine source mother will be guiding us. And um, this, some of these images will really resonate with all of your souls as well. Okay. With some of the work that we're going to be doing, there was just something else they wanted me to share about that. Okay. So just briefly going to talk about the fall of Lemuria and, and specifically Maui. Okay. So I'm just being reminded. So the three grid assignments in this bundle right now, the first assignment will be in my area on the Pacific coast of British Columbia um, in Canada, because that is, this is a very high pristine area that's connected and has a piece of the new Lemuria. Okay. Then the second piece will be, um, Maui, Hawaii and specifically Maui because of what just recently happened on that Island. Okay. So we're going to be part and parcel helping, to, helping the land and the energies heal and facilitate positive movement forward 
for the unfolding of the new Lemuria for the Hawaiian Islands and the whole area. And then we're going to bring it back in December to another part of the Pacific Coast, California, USA, and healing um, and activating the grids for that. And this is just level one. I'm sure there's going to be more um, coming, but for now, this is what I've got to, that we uh, is a requirement will be very well received by Gaia, by Nova Terra herself. And for all of us as inhabitants, it's going to help to raise the frequency. Okay. So the, the work we'll do together will be for the three sessions. So they are all connected, but you also will learn about grid work, about what we're doing each session. And you'll be able to facilitate that. You'll have the activations and you'll be able to continue with this work. Okay. If you feel like you want to be more connected to the goddess energy. So this was the goddesses were very, the sisterhood was very much part of the of previous Lemuria. And this will be part of our group work together. And there's also um, an opportunity. You can work with me one-on-one -on -one as well with the divine goddess codes sessions too. Okay. So let me just look at this image because we all, we all worked together and just a reminder that on the Lionsgate this year, there was a plan to take down the original Stargate system in the Hawaiian Islands. It wasn't successful, but they they created a big ripple. There's you know there's some things that are desperately needed for healing and repairing. Now the thing is is that the reason we're starting uh, in my area in October is because it's eclipse season. It's a very intense time anyway the hawaiian islands also have an active um volcano pele is doing her her work for the entire island system even though she's on the big that energy is on the big island but it encompasses all the hawaiian islands so this work is will be, be better in november okay the other thing is is that there is a known stargate in Kauai, but there are also parts of the stargate system that um are connected to maui as well so I'll just, I only wanted to share that, but this part of the multidimensional aspect of what happened in August was to not only um, harm our realities and stop us from ascending, but also to prevent um, the new earth grids from anchoring in. Okay. So I just wanted to share that. And this is again, so we can anchor in and help the motherlands of earth. Uh, facilitate these new stargate systems okay all right let's go to the next slide it's not a long slideshow as well this is just one image of um the ley lines the main ley lines the main chakra systems um some of them are dragon ley lines there you can see the female the female great dragon ley line and as divine goddesses as divine feminines we do work deeply with the dragons and and super exciting. So in this image, um, what it shows, and it literally shows, see, look, it shows gate 10 as Maui. Isn't that beautiful? I didn't even notice that until now. I know that I saw this before, but what we're going to allow is we're going to allow this flow of divine feminine energy. It's going to work with all of the grid systems as well. And then this is just a reminder of who we all are. We are, we are not just light. We are these pillars of light. And that's part of the process that I'll be assisting you all with as well, is anchoring in our pillar of light where we are. And a reminder that you are part of the 144,000, the angelics, the angelic race, um, the divine goddess, galactic goddess warriors are being called up now. And we are here uh, to bring freedom, to bring sovereignty to the world. And this is part of our divine mission. Yeah. So thank you so much for listening to this beautiful message that was transmitted for me to bring in today. I look forward to working with you all. And just on a final note, there is a really unique offer right now. It's called the Divine Goddess Empowerment Package, and it includes three Divine Goddess Healing Quantum sessions with me personally, Zoom calls, and then also the this uh, Divine Work as well. So there, yes, there's still availability. It will be a small group. Um, right now I've set it at eight souls, but it also can go up to 12. So check that out. All the information is at the top of my website. Email me if you have any questions. So much love, light, and aloha. I'm so excited to facilitate this work with you all. And this was part of my divine mission to finally um, move into all of this work with all of you. All right. Love, light, and aloha from Pink Bella. Just... And I wish you all a beautiful day and a beautiful week. And I will be back soon. Mahalo, new love, pink, pink Bella. Take care, everyone.